welcome back to Symbols. My name is Nico Despopoulos. Last time we were taking a look at the 2004 Battlestar Galactica remake by the Sci-Fi Channel, and we saw how the system of desires was such an important part of the character arc of an important character, Gaius Baltar, really the anti-hero of the entire series. This week, we're going to take a look at a different concept known as the shattering. Now in Kabbalah, we have this system of a pre-existing perfect state, Ein Sof, eternity, represented by the circle, as we saw in Uriah and the Last Dragon, and a return to that, cir that circular state, that Ein Sof, that eternity, and in the middle of this is this descent and ascent down to and back out of the world of egoism, this world where we are now. Now, the descent is known as the shattering. And the shattering is when the created being is completely cut off from the upper, the upper force, the creative force. And in its limitation, represented by lines, it tries to build its way back up eventually through a system of desires to re-attain contact with the creator. Now, we have seen in both of these stories that we've already looked at, several examples of shattering the destruction of the 12 colonies of COBOL through nuclear attack. And more obviously, the shattering of the dragon gem here in Raya and the Last Dragon. Now, in both of these stories, the shattering symbol was a plot device to drive the action of the story into their conflict, climax, and resolutions. However, if we look at the 2021 release by Disney of the story Encanto, we can see here that the shattering itself actually is the climax of the story. Okay, in this opening scene, we see the world as it should be. The candle re represents a connection between this world and the upper abundance. And we see a child that is coming of age. The establishment of this new world is explained. And the expectation of using gifts or special powers to serve the community is established. And your abuelo was lost. But in our darkest moment, we were given a miracle. The candle, the magical flame that could never go out. With a refuge in which to live. A place of wonder, an encanto, an encanto. The miracle grew. And our house, our casita itself, came alive to shelter us. When my children came of age, the miracle blessed each with a magic gift to help us. And when their children came of age, they got magic too. <laughs> That's right. 
And together, our fabulous gifts have made our new home a paradise. Tonight, this candle will give you your gift, mi vida. Strength our community. Strength. We're going. What do you think my gift will be? You want Mirabel Madrigal. Whatever gift awaits will be just as special as you. At the same time, we have this this powerful image of being open-eyed, seeing what is truly there. And remember from Raya that eyes connected to this spiritual part, Suf, this face, eyes are connected to the idea of, of Bina, the, the world of Bina, and uh, this capacity for understanding. And the whole, the whole effort of Kabbalah is to bring the Malchut, the whole of our desire, up to the spiritual level of Bina that wants to be like the creator, really understands what's happening in the universe. And so what happens here is Mirabel doesn't get her gift. But she has this special relationship with the house. And the house exists through the miracle, through the connection with the upper light. But there's a problem. Casita? Now it's interesting to note that the family name of this of this character is Madrigal. Well, family is called Madrigal, and in Italian, in Italian musical tradition, a Madrigal is a is a uh, a song that is sung with multiple voices, seeming as if they are one voice. But in this early part of the film, everybody's really singing their own song. Mirabel is on her own, right? And, uh, and everybody else is singing their own songs as well. As the trouble continues, conflict arises through the different members of the family. And the more conflict, the more cracks. They're losing this love. that they should have for the family and the losing sight of their responsibilities to the community. Now there was a missing uncle in all this who helps Mirabel see, right? Mira in Italian, in, excuse me, in Spanish is, is to see. And she's being shown her role in the situation.
she understands that her mission is to help take care of the house, the connection to the upper force. There's the butterfly, a symbol of transformation. And she's meant to embrace. To make the candle bright, you have to embrace her. Embrace who? A sister that she's had conflict with. Overcoming her hatred. And of course she has resistance to this idea. And this is, this is all part of the corrective process. We don't want to do what we need to do to reestablish our connection with the upper force. But slowly, slowly, our desire for spirituality is meant to help us overcome our egotistical hatreds. Now the sister is reconciled. but it concerns their grandmother, Abuela. And here soon we see that Mirabel's push for mercy and understanding, reconciliation, comes into direct conflict with the Abuela's aspect of judgment. Always expects service and perfection. Because of their accusations of against each other. It's not just about cracks anymore. The whole house starts to shatter and crumble. Be good enough for you. Will I? No matter how hard I try. No matter how hard any of us tries. Lisa will never be strong enough. Lisa Vela won't be perfect enough. Bruno left our family because you only saw the worst in him. Bruno didn't care about this family. And everything comes apart. I love this family. We all love this family. You're the one that doesn't care. You're the one breaking our home. Don't you the ever. miracle is dying because of you.
So unlike the other stories where the shattering is a device to propel the story into its action, here the shattering is the climax itself. And so the correction is the reconciliation. It happens quite quickly. And we can see how that works here. just after the shattering. Now we see the reconciliation. where we were given a miracle. I thought we would have a different life. I thought I would be a different woman. Grandmother explains herself. And in the end, Mirabel sees everything about her grandmother, rises to understand her. And through this rising up, she, she also comes into her position, right? The, the Malchut of Mirabel rises up to the Bina that uh, is the Abuela. so afraid to lose him. That I lost sight of who our miracle was for. And I am so sorry. You never heard of the family Mirabel. We are broken. Never happen again. We were 
were saved because of you. We were given a miracle. We are a family of you. And nothing could ever be broken that we can't fix. And now they're all together. And not only the family, but the entire town comes to sing in one voice in unison, Madrigal. As they work to rebuild the house and through this work together for each other's benefit without the use of any special powers through their own efforts they're working to re-establish what they had before with no expectation of any new miracles and here finally just like in the beginning, where the house suddenly appears before the abuela, who did nothing to merit it, now the miraculous door that was denied to Mirabel stands in front of her now. And everybody sings how much they see her. And the abuela repeats the formula that starts the movie first in English and now in Spanish. Reverse the formula. Not only does she see herself in the reflection, but she sees herself in her entire family. She feels all of them as they are her. And she turns to open the door for them. And the gift that was denied her in her youth is now the miracle of reestablishing that connection to the upper force. And the world is made right again. So here we can see exactly how powerful this shattering symbol is and how significant it is in the, uh, in the progression of the spiritual uh, pursuit that there is a previous established connection to the upper force and that has to be broken in order for the created being to th through its own efforts pull back all the pieces of broken vessel whether it's a house or a soul or a society or a gem right and through the collective efforts of everyone together reestablish that connection to the upper force and re-enter a new perfection perfected state that now includes the created being as an active agent in creation instead of just an object of it. I hope that this has been an interesting revelation of how more Kabbalistic symbols are used in modern media. And I hope that you will like, share, comment, you know, share any other ideas of shows that we should take a look at and join us for our next episode. 
until then, be well. <laughs>